the PP mat is doing its job. All right, so I muscled, well, I camel clutched the, uh, the cylinder off. That was uh, pretty intense. But anyways, as you can see, do I have my light on? Yeah. As you can see, um, there is, you know, the discoloration in there. But anyways, you know, you can tell where uh, the combustion chamber is and below it where uh, the combustion shouldn't be happening but there's you know there's ring marks you know the little there's a little corrugated ring on there and you can see marks from it uh, on, on the uh, cylinder there but anyways just rubbing my finger across it um, there are some rough spots where this discoloration is but it's nothing too severe yeah you can see that really well that shows up real well on the camera right there the discoloration but anyways you know that's that's my theory um, of where uh, the piston was at when it sat for however long in the weeds with the spark plug out and the rain getting in it so um, <clears throat> on to the next discovery I'm going to take this off the tripod on to the next discovery um, alright so I'm looking at this here piston checking it out and, and different things and uh, at first the rings look fine but um, you should be able to notice something wrong with this picture right there there's a huge chunk of this first ring just missing it's friggin gone but anyways I can move that around um, this ring right here is, uh, fine. I think this is what they call the oil wiper ring or whatever. The one in between, uh, one in between is fine. It's just this first ring right here is, uh, missing a chunk. I don't know if it, uh, if it shrunk or what happened to the other half of the ring that is uh kind of uh concerning <laughs> you know friggin you'd think that that would show up in the uh in the cylinder there but there would be probably a pretty deep gash um, maybe that's what cocked over the uh the exhaust valve i don't know anyways what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna have to do to fix this is uh, buy a complete new ring set. Um, I need to buy a gasket kit. I found a complete gasket kit, kit for the whole engine on eBay for like 30 something dollars. That's top end and bottom end. Uh, what I really need is the both cylinder gaskets, the bottom and the head gasket. So I need rings gaskets. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hone this. I have a hone that just goes on the drill here and uh, we're going to give that a whirl. Um, what else do I need? Well, yeah, back to the head. I'm going to buy some of that freeze off stuff made by CRC I think. Because uh, PB Blaster just didn't do much for it. It's been soaking for three days. But anyways. I uh, shoved the cam in there. And I uh, worked it with some pliers. And uh, worked the valves. And let's see if I can get this off. I'm going to turn this back on in a second. So I jammed the camshaft back in there. Turned it with pliers. And uh, worked these valves a little. Um, well, first what I did was, you know, I was cleaning this out with, with just carb cleaner. 
some leftover carb cleaner. I sprayed some in the exhaust because you know it's pretty nasty in there. And then I noticed it leaking from the exhaust valve. So uh, that prompted me to shove the cam in there to look, open it and look at it. And uh, it's it's pretty gnarly in there, pretty messed up. So I'm gonna buy a new valve. Um, there aren't any guides on, on these valves. They're, they just use the springs and the uh, the oil seal, I believe. But anyways, this exhaust valve is just dickered. I mean, look at it compared to the intake valve. There's your problem. Anyways, yeah, I, I looked at the intake valve too, and it seats real nice. It's all, you know, it's all uh, shiny metal where it seats. There's no rust on it. This one there is rust. I mean, how can you get rust in an oil-coated friggin' engine? It's been sitting for a while, apparently. So anyways, new valve, possibly new valve seat, possibly new valve seal um, new gaskets new rings and uh yeah so all of that's probably going to be around uh my estimate's about eighty dollars so i already have about two hundred dollars into this with well two hundred and fifty with all the tools i had to buy two hundred fifty one hundred to buy the thing um and the rest are parts and tools and everything so far. So tack on another 80 and uh, this, this thing's going to be running like a rape date pretty soon. So stay tuned. Uh, this is part two. Please uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for part three. Over and out.